Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Mendegas Moriarty Teresaitis, master arm wrestler and soon to be master referee. We move forward and into the ladies division next up for an international matchup. And it is going down. Firstly, with this young lady. She hails from and is representing the United States of America and rules to prominence by winning the qualifier for East versus West. Tonight, she gets her chance to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the United States of America, welcome Elizabeth Ray Massey. Wrestling world, take your eyes there on the young lady from Waco, Texas. Some people get in the arm wrestling because their mother, their father, their brother arm wrestles, and other athletes look for a new sport. This lady comes from an equestrian background. Let's see exactly how strong she is. And her opponent now making a way to the table hails from and is representing the great female arm wrestling nation of Sweden. She is a multiple Swedish national champion. Please welcome now, Carolina the Flame Pettersson. Neil couldn't, Neil couldn't say it better. Great female arm wrestling nation of Sweden. Carolina Pettersson, very seasoned arm wrestler, very experienced, has been pulling on the biggest stages, has been pulling super matches. I myself witnessed an hour-long five-round super match this March with her pulling. I don't want to be refing or, or be on a stage commentating this match. This could be long. If Carolina stops it, she will definitely try to bleed out her opponent. Well, she's got a monumental task here. I have watched for the last two years. Masik's beginning, her inability to understand the center of the table, leverage, having her hand taken. The power was always there. Here, not even six weeks ago, now you see her flipping for the coin, finding the true side of the table. Her with the Black Scorpion, with other top level arm wrestlers, all of a sudden now that hand is being contained. Don't be surprised if this girl is dominating in this match. She looks definitely strong. Let's see if the experience of Carolina will play the part in this one. Girls are trying to set up the center. So she's very young in the sport, and she's one of those people that got the chance to pull because she won the final of the West, which is amazing thing. If you're watching, if you're a wrestling fan, or if you're just an athlete and you think, how can I get this? This is a chance to get here. 100%, and let's make no mistake about it, arm wrestling dominated no from a competitor standpoint no from the she male athlete, but from a fan it's, and from awesome. anyone watching, an this you is what they always ask about. Yeah. Hey, do the ladies she's arm wrestle? Right. Yes, they do. yeah, they do. And some of them, mostly from Sweden, yeah. arm wrestle really well. And what I can see early is a severe right. leverage problem in favor of the Kinda Swedish right. technician. She's right. Yeah, she's, look at this, even just taking the grip, she is she way higher. Her knuckle is so much higher than must. Maybe, maybe Elizabeth wants that. Maybe she needs that. Maybe she no, feels like her hand is strong exactly. enough to contain Caroline. We will see it right now. I think they're going to referee's grip. Right, they're going to referee's grip. No. Referee's grip, definitely a good situation for Elizabeth, but she has to get that index finger up. She doesn't have to take the hand of Caroline. She just needs to make sure she doesn't make it really easy for Carolyn to take her hand. Even in this position, we can see she is much lower. Carolyn is much higher. She's using all the leverages, all the positions to get advantage. Carolina wants the top roll. Masic wants to get inside, I believe. Or any control sort, with the hand. Any sort of connection, Coach Ray, Masic feels she's as strong as any hundred and 50 pound athlete. She was very world. confident. She, she was very confident. Let's oh. go. 
And we go for the first slip. Still holding on, Carolina not letting go. Was good position from both of them. Let's see if the strap changes things because there is a thing like a bad side, right? And Carolina will have the bad side of the strap at this point. And that might play a little part, especially when you want to top roll and you can get that few, few millimeters, few millimeters of height. And that could play in favor of Elizabeth. No, no, I can just see the manipulation, the setup, the beauty that happens in Sweden with the female arm wrestlers, just how technically sound they are. Super uphill battle, it looks for me. Not in power, but in just they cagey, fight for everything. Veteran. They fight for absolutely everything. That just not only technical, but fierce on the table. They will not give up. They will give their last breath for these pulls. So that's what I'm hoping to see this. If this match is a little bit even, I don't think Carolina will give up, and I wouldn't expect Elizabeth to give up. At this point, I think that the match is going to go in the direction of the Swede early. When does it get stopped? How terrible is the connection and risk control from Elizabeth? Right now, Elizabeth is kind of giving away. Yeah, There's so little of her hand inside of that strap. And look at how much of the Swedish hand is up on the inside of that strap. Ladies and gentlemen. That's where that experience comes in. That's where Elizabeth years of pain I can't, I can't have fix my to be way stronger. Yeah. with this connection to stop it. And she did show that she, I think she is strong. She's but let's see how strong. strong. Yeah, she's definitely strong. But positions change things, leverages points, and we will see right about now. Do you rotate before you start? You rotate before you start? Because this is not, this is not, Go. this is not okay. Still not okay. Took the hand. Ah! And Carolina Pedersen wins the first one very dominating manner can you say selfish coach ray i can I mean, say my <laughs> goodness carolyn right. just absolutely as bad as anybody has ever taken a hand and wrist positioning in the straps and had the audacity to tell the coach or i'm sorry to tell the referee that this is not acceptable. Looking from the side, it was very good position for her. I think the only thing she was worried about that maybe Elizabeth was rotated inwards, but still Elizabeth trying to hit the top roll where she might have better chances of hitting a hook. Coach Ray, if you take that much from anyone and that referee tightens that strap, the only thing you can do is start to fight out of it, which Elizabeth did, and finally wasn't quite enough. But listen, there's no power struggle here. Whatever Paul Lynn is talking with Elizabeth right now, it should be more about the setup and her index finger needs to match the height of Carolyn or it's going to be a bad day. It is it's definitely very hard, especially with it inexperience like you need experience in arm wrestling right that's the biggest thing you pull high level opponents all over the world you gain experience and you know how to deal with stuff you know how to act with referees you know what to do on a table and we can see there is maybe the strain gap isn't there Ex inexperience is there definitely you can see she leans in very much under and then she tries to top roll it's like trying to top roll middle of your arm right it will not go through the wrist bends back Arm doesn't. I think this will be another referee's so, grip. Yeah, the problem is, is she Caroline needs to is for this. so able, hey. much She's like the up. great Dave Patton, up, man. able to get such a significant height advantage, yet convince the referee and the opponent that you're covering her thumb, actually. Yes. Right? And it no, all starts not. with my the depth down here. in which yeah. that thumb pad my is put into that grip as Look, opposed to having that knuckle. hand completely open, getting them, okay. you know, we, we palm see, to like, palm. Carolina is not moving. She's no emotions, nothing. And it looks for referees like Elizabeth is the one who's fighting That's the fight, right? And the problem is uh, she was kind of 
trying to work it. She work did it with her hand, with her wrist, and it's gonna get pumped. And you already lost it in the first one. You should be very careful. And she should be using the back pressure oh. Oh. riser. And she should be walking back and getting wow. some chalk. There's a lot of things that you do when you want to set grip and you're not getting it. This is like straight cruise control. The only thing I can say in Elizabeth's favor is this is an amazing experience for you. Because she will get better, definitely. This is a learning lesson. This is nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. You lost to one of the best athletes on the planet in that weight class. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Someone who has pulled experience, everything is there for Carolyn. And we see comfortably, right? So only thing, only thing Liz needs is time. In no my doubt. Opinion. And just the experience level, like people can tell you what to do, but listen, when those lights come on and you are at this stage, listen, this is the biggest, baddest, I've been around 20 years. It's intimidating doing the live show on that stage. As, as we know, millions are watching live, right? Millions are watching, so many eyes on you, all over the world. You, you don't wanna fail, but it happens, and it's fine. And just forget about it and get better. And here's the deal, just listen, some, just some advice from your fellow American. If you get another grip like that, make sure that you have already received your warning and your foul and you are in the set grip. Even now she's trying to even lower, even lower. And the thing is she still is trying to hit. She's coming forward with the shoulder, but then she tries to hit, should hit back with the- Just take a look at how far Caroline's thumb knuckle is to her fist knuckle in her hand. You're talking about her having her whole thumb pad inside that grip. Elizabeth, of course, it's the, you know, arm wrestling 101. I create that big pad. You have trouble getting around it and control it. Be careful there, young lady. Just get out of here with no trouble. They'll receive a foul and there will be a restart. So. Now listen, is Paul Lynn right now screaming as loud as he can to Elizabeth? You must pull in a strap. You must pull in a set grip. There is no way in the world you can take a grip. You saw the outstanding grip the referee gave Caroline and she wasn't happy. So if she's willing to pull with you yeah. without a referee's grip, know how much she is happy with her connection. Definitely. And the problem with strong pullers oh. is they believe their hand Second is just... Ah. <laughs> Three, zero, Carolina Pedersen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. What an outstanding athlete in the sport of arm wrestling. Caroline Patterson putting on a clinic here. The young lady from Houston, a rising star, a great opportunity for her, but make no mistake about it. When you make your way to Istanbul, you are in for a serious arm wrestling task. Caroline Patterson, complete hand wrist connection domination. Make some noise. If you are in Sweden, keep jumping up and down. I'm sure there is a lot of young ladies super excited to see the class, the ferociousness of Caroline Patterson putting on a show here at East First West. And I can tell you this, Women's arm wrestling is definitely the talk of East West West. We were here all yesterday and everybody kept asking, can the young lady from Texas do anything with this Swedish nightmare? And the answer is there was just too much class, too much experience. Congratulations. I am here with your winner, Carolina Pedersen. Your opponent, Elizabeth, is still very young in a sport. For her, I think experience was a big factor in this. You're a seasoned puller. You've been doing this for a year. Was there something worrying about this match? Uh, yeah, uh, what was worrying is, of course, her strength. I know she's a very strong athlete. And her progression that she's made so quickly. Um, but uh, I was pretty confident that I would be faster. And, uh, like, you need a lot of strength to um, to deal with the explosiveness. Uh, so I think that I can take your hand quicker and then there's just not so much you can do. 
Uh, I think the first round, you went to the referee's grip. You were going through all the paces, trying to figure out where her strength is, right? But after the first one, you felt comfortable. That's what I felt from this. Was it like that? Yeah, it was because I, I really didn't want the strap. That was like maybe my biggest uh, um, issue if we got into the strap, but that felt okay as well. So then I, I felt pretty confident, yeah. So will we see more female arm wrestling on East West West? What do you think? Are you ready for more matches? Yeah, for sure. I know there will be more. Ladies and gentlemen, Carolina.